Welcome back, guys, to a brand new episode. And oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? Do you mind? I'm trying to record a video here. Ugh, whatever. So don't worry about the dog. Let's get back to the drink. We are making another espresso drink because I love espresso. Look at that crema. Isn't that awesome? We are making an espresso margarita. That's right. We are combining a margarita with amazing coffee. Now I chose a Añejo um, tequila, mainly because I wanted a really rich flavor to kind of uh, stand up to the rich flavor of the coffee. So I'm using 1800 Añejo. I'm also gonna be using some uh, dry curacao. So let's do it. Okay, so about an ounce and a half of espresso goes right into the glass. After that, we're gonna use our Añejo tequila. Like I mentioned, I'm using that. Uh, you don't have to. A Reposado would be great. A Blanco would be fine even. But I decided to use the Añejo for some extra richness. So using the same glass as I had my espresso to really soak up all that delicious crema, um, we do an ounce and a half of our tequila. Follow that up with half an ounce of orange liqueur. Now, again, because we're using some rich flavors, I figured a triple sec or Cointreau would just not stand up to this, would get lost. So I'm using a uh, Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao, which has a cognac base. Uh, I think a Grand Marnier would be amazing as well, but use whatever you want. If you only have triple sec, do that. After that, we're going to do a quarter ounce of agave syrup. Just give it a little sweetness. I mean, the... Um, Orange liqueur will give it some sweetness, but I think you could use a little more. So agave syrup, use simple syrup if that's all you got. That works fine. All right, after that, we're gonna do a half ounce of lime juice. Sticking with that margarita base. All right, now you could stop it here. I'm gonna do a couple bitters. You don't have to, this is really just complimentary. So I'm gonna do two dashes of orange bitters. And we're gonna do a couple dashes of chocolate bitters. I've got these small um, sample bottles of Scrappy's chocolate bitters. So it kinda looks like a little more than two dashes, but they dash pretty light. All right, after that, we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice. Good amount of ice. All right, then we're gonna do a flippy move. And Lock it up, seal it tight, and shaky shaky for a good 30-40 seconds. We really want to develop a lot of that crema, that beautiful cream on top of the um, beautiful foam on top of the uh, espresso. Look at that. That's probably why the last uh, drink, the Old Fashioned, didn't get that. Because we stirred it and shake it. Alright, we're serving this in rocks glass. We're going to fill some ice cubes. And here's a little pro tip. If your ice is not conforming to your glass, just get your bar spoon, give it a quick stir, it'll melt quickly, and boom, ice in. All right, strainer, and slow pour into the glass. Look at that beautiful caramel toffee color, it's beautiful. And because we gave it a good shake, we are maintaining that crema. That's the best part, love that stuff. So I'm shaking the crap out of this shaker to really extract every last bit of that foam on top. Is that, look at that, it's beautiful. All right, for garnish, uh, I wanna stick to traditional margarita, but instead of doing a lime wedge or lime wheel, we're gonna do a nice lime twist. So don't often peel a lime, but I think it's gonna look really nice in this drink. And there you have it. There is your espresso margarita. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Um, surprisingly, the coffee takes a back seat in this one. Right up front, it's tequila, it's margarita. You get the tequila, you get the lime juice really present. Orange liqueur, not so much. But then immediately after, it evolves into a rich espresso coffee flavor. And then the coffee and the tequila kind of linger on the finish. That crema gives it such an amazing mouthfeel. It almost feels like there's egg white in here. It's amazing. Really hope you give it a try, guys. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Cheers.